Hello guys and welcome to another pixelforlife.com video tutorial. In this lesson we're going to show you how to make a cool logo stamped out effect uh, with the text. So just follow along as I do it. It's going to be real simple. Uh, I'm just going to start off by creating an image around 300 by 300 pixels. Go ahead and just make the background white. Create a new layer. And I want to go ahead and grab my custom rounded rectangle shape tool with a radius of 25. Go ahead and pick out a color that I like, which in this case is a blue. And just go ahead and drag it out kind of like so. Now the reason I'm making this kind of big is because I'll downsize it later on for whatever size that I need. Um, but for this specific uh, event, I need it to be this size. So we're gonna go, I'm going to go ahead and stroke this, grab that color, make it a little bit darker. Go on to the inside of it and make it be a about 4. For now, we'll stick with 4. And now I'm going to go ahead and grab some text and uh, click off of my uh, custom object that way it's, it's being created and I'm just going to put PFL for now and make that be size of 75 and go ahead and drag this up like so and just kinda like that now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and make this text be uh, a little bit darker about like that and now I want to go ahead and go into my layer style settings and the first thing I want to do is go to bevel and emboss outer bevel and you'll see here that that creates kind of a cool effect but I want to put chisel hard on put my size down and I'm going to go ahead and stroke this, make it be that darker blue color again that I picked from before. And keep that on outside. And it just kind of makes it look like it's punched out a little bit. And that's, that's the effect we were going for. And now that I've done that, I can actually select this text and make it any color I want. And it'll keep that punched out effect. Um, and I mean, you can do li li literally any color that you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and just make mine be, I don't think I'm going to do it white, but I want to kind of see how this would look. Yeah, I'm just going to stick with white. And with that, I w that's the punch out effect that I was talking about, and that's done. But now we're going to go ahead and finish up the actual logo. What I'm going to do is create a new layer and double click it to call it Highlight. Now there's two separate highlights we can do, and I'll show you both examples, so I'll do Highlight two. Now let's do the first first version. The first one is real simple. Uh, you just grab the gradient tool and because we have a white background we don't have to about worry about selecting out but just for sake of example you would control click the shape layer that way it has your rounded edges shape and hit D and X so you're back in white on the uh, reflected gradient um, or linear gradient. Either one at this point doesn't matter but make sure you're set on white to transparent and then you would just simply click and drag down for your nice beveled effect and it looks really good um, uh, usually when I do an effect like that I'll go into my custom shape and I'll drop a shadow on that so it, the button actually pops up so it looks a little bit more realistic than just leaving it there um, so that's the first example the second example you definitely want to control click out your shape layer uh, but once you've done that um, you then would do the exact same thing. You would go up here and just simply drag down your selection. And then once you've done that, you would then go to your pen tool, make sure you're on uh, the shape layers. I would then click roughly around midway through the bottom of the letter and then go over here to just above, or actually, I'm sorry, just below. And then I would drag out so it has a nice, like, beveled edge and I would then just come over here and close off that shape control click that layer delete that layer entirely hit control shift I to invert on my highlighted layer and hit delete now what this does is it creates a very sharp edge as you can see for your reflection but it makes it look more realistic when your icon becomes smaller 
the bigger the icon, the harder it is to get to be realistic. So, to add a little bit more to that, I would go ahead and grab my paintbrush tool, make sure that I have a uh, soft brush on around size 65 because it's a bigger brush, and I would then do it beneath that layer, making sure that my color is white, everything set wide open, new layer, hold down shift, click straight across here, and I went a little far there, so I would just do it about like that. And then once I had that, I would go ahead and shift click my round corners again, stand on this layer, go to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur, and I would blur this out even more, probably about, about like this, just so it's like very prominent and very, very uh, versatile, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, kind of like that, just so it's very prominent. And then I would come over here and just drop this opacity down some. And with that, that looks very realistic, even on the big, uh, the big, the big logo. Now, what I mean by it will look even more realistic with the uh, with the smaller logo. So well, let's do this. Let's go ahead and grab all of these layers except for the background. Hit Control T for transform. Hold down Shift and Alt to keep it the right same size and make this smaller. And you see here the logo stands way out, way better. You will want to go to your stroke and put this down uh, and also your bevel and emboss down and just drop your depth down because it's a little bit too a little bit too crazy right now. But something around those lines. And then you have a very nice realistic logo. So hope you guys enjoyed this icon slash logo slash highlighting tutorial and we look forward to showing you more, so be sure to subscribe to our channel, and be sure to click the like button. It really helps us out. And check out our website, pixelforlife.com, for our free 942 Photoshop action pack. You guys have a great day, and we'll see you soon.